Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a foundation review on the Maybelline Dream Velvet Foundation. They claim that this is a hydrating foundation with a soft matte finish. So I literally just bought this foundation for like $14 at Walmart. Um, they claim that it lasts for 12 hours, so we'll see. It is about one fluid ounce. And this was their darkest color. Um, I think that's kind of shady, seeing as how um, <laughs> I think that's shady, seeing as how I'm not even that dark. Your darkest color should be at least what I contour with. When I first started doing makeup, I used to wear Fit Me powders like every day until they stopped selling it at the Walmart's close to me. I went to like three different Walmarts and I couldn't find it, but I could find it online. So I think for most Maybelline foundations, coconut is their darkest shade. But Maybelline, you guys need to do better. Okay, okay. So far on my face, all I have is some Nivea face cream. I'm gonna prime my face first with the Benefit Professional. So to apply this foundation, I'm gonna be using this Morphe 439 brush. I feel like this brush blends out foundation way better than a beauty blender and faster too. So far, I'm loving this foundation. This, the finish is very skin-like. I can tell why they call this soft matte because it's like not completely matte. So right now, it is about 2 p.m. I'm going to check back in with you guys in a few hours to see how this foundation is holding up. In the meantime, I'm going to put on some more makeup. And we're back. Stop texting me. Hi guys, so it's been about six hours, almost 7.45. So as you can see, I look a little bit oily. I do have like normal to combination skin. I only get oily in these zones. I didn't um, touch up throughout the whole day. I definitely can say that I like this foundation. It did cover up most of my dark spots. I didn't have that many, but it did a good job. I would say that this foundation would be best for somebody with normal to dry skin. Not really for oily skin unless you want to look like total greaseball. I mean, but if that's the look you're going for, don't let me stop you. I'm going to take a picture with flash to see how it looks. Most likely because of the shade of the foundation, but it's giving off a very green undertone. So photo friendly, mmm. Not really. Comment below if you guys have tried it and other foundations that you think I should try. My final thoughts on the Maybelline Velvet Dream Foundation. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe.